disturbing the peace, resisting arrest, uh, and a couple other ones. Basically, the uh, they said that I was trying to reach for the firearm, which I, which is false. But I don't really know the exact the exact uh, charge, the wording, but. It's and, basically a, and your name is Michael Viveris? Viveris. Viveris. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and you're going to court today? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Michael. Thank you. To court, and your name is? Tamika Lagan. Okay, and you just asked an important question. You're here for a police brutality trial? Yeah. And, uh, and what was your question? Basically, with all these um, police brutality charges being popped up all over the place, if this is what my state and federal is supposed to be paying for, where do you go to get a refund? Yes. <laughs> and Michael and his family who have had to deal with a lot of shit the past year. So you're here? I'm here because I'm tired of police brutality in the city of Springfield and I feel that as taxpayers it's time for us to hold the people that we elect or that we want to run our system accountable. Oh, you want both? Yeah, I want both. Cause there's three. I want to give back. I'll hold okay. two if you want. So here it is, Monday morning Monday at the morning. courthouse in Springfield. What are you doing here? We're trying to address police brutality once again in the city of Springfield. Coming off the heels of last week, another trial with Jeffrey Asher. Four cops involved in a police brutality case last week, six cops involved in this one today. That's ten different cops just in two weeks of court. Are we talking about a few bad apples or are we talking about a systemic problem?